Hi all. In this video, let us discuss about code profiling. So, code profiling is a method that help the developers to analyze the performance of their code. On the last video, we have already discussed about one of the method for code profiling. So, in this video, let us check about Graphe method. And this code profiler output can be used to generate a graph, a calls triggered by the method. So, using this method, it produces a graph using gprof2 tool and display the graph using x dot tool. So, let's check it's working. So, in the hospital management module, let's go to the OP records. At here, we can create the OP records. So, this confirm button, it performs a function which move the stage to OP. So, in the pie charm, let's check its function and try to produce the graph based on that function. So, let's go to pie charm. So, in the pie charm, in the hospital management module, in the op.py python file, so at its function that is action confirm, at here we can define the uh, graph a method for code profiling. So, at here I am defining at profile and then the path of this module. So, I am taking its path from here and then slash prof dot profile. And then let's try to import this profile from odo.tools.miscellaneous import profile. Which means while we clicking this action or while we performing this action confirm, automatically a prof.profile file is generated in the hospital management module directory. So let's check it. Let's run the program. And then... Let's click on this function and then the function is perform and then the stage is moved to OP. Let's check the hospital management module. So under the hospital management directory, it created a prof.profile. So now the profile is created and then we need to produce the graph. So we can produce the graph using gprof2 tool. So let's check what is the command that we need to run in the terminal to produce the graph. So, the command is about gprof2, which is the tool, minus f, p stats, minus o, path, uh, path of the uh, module, and then the dot x dot, it is a format that we are displaying the graph, and then the profile file. So, let's check the PyCharm terminal. So, under the terminal, let's add that command, and then I am added the path. Home, Cyprosis, Order 15 under the custom add-ons and then the module name. And at here, I added the path for the profile file. And then run the command. So, command is run. And now, the graph is produced. Then we need to display the graph or we need to see that graph. For that, the command is... We can display the graph using x dot tool. So the command is x dot slash the path of the profile dot x dot. So let's run it in the terminal. So I already worked. So I run the terminal. And now the x dot graph is formed. So we can see in the x dot graph that our the uh, result, uh, graph result is displayed as like this. So, this help the developers to perform, to analyze its uh, performance of their code using graph a method. That's all about graph a method in code profiling.